Yeah, good afternoon. My name is Hermann Einzel. I'm based in Würzburg and I'm the director of the Department of Internal Medicine, where we see a lot of myeloma patients. Now, the myeloma patients are, are quite concerned about uh, COVID-19, and I think that uh, is, is clearly um, very important because um, we know that the likelihood of a severe cause of a COVID-19 infection is higher among myeloma patients when compared to healthy controls. So please be careful, please wear your mask, please keep to to uh, social distancing and also uh, all the high hygiene uh, restrictions that should be followed. And this should be also done in a patient who receives a vaccination. Now, why this? We know that we can successfully vaccinate patients with uh, multiple myeloma, and I would, would encourage you all to do a vaccination and to have a vaccination done. Um, concerning the different vaccines, I don't see an issue with any of the vaccines. It's so important to get vaccinated. I would accept every vaccine that is available, available for you. There is no increased risk with these uh, vaccines like AstraZeneca or J&J that are slightly, slightly different from the biotech or Moderna vaccine that are RNA-based, but still they are safe. And I think especially in myeloma patients, they can be safely applied. What we don't know or what, what is questionable, whether the protection in a myeloma patient is as good as in a healthy control. And that's why even after being vaccinated, you should still wear a mask and do the social distancing and all the measurements of hygiene. But um, uh, in principle, and, and that has been shown, and we have seen this, that in most of the patient, patients, the vaccination is protective. Uh, patients that have a very low likelihood to respond to the vaccine are patients early after stem cell transplantation. So in the first one to two months following stem cell transplantation is probably not effective. You should also be careful not to take steroids during the, the, the maybe five or seven days prior to vaccination. You shouldn't use steroids five to seven days post vaccination, though this is important. And if you are in a certain schedule, it always makes sense to have the vaccination being done between two cycles of therapy. And if possible, it might be good to delay a little bit the treatment and have a sufficient time that the immune response can develop. So in conclusion, I would recommend you all to get vaccinated, accept every vaccine that is approved by the EMA, by the European Medic Medicine Agency, and uh, get vaccinated as, um, as, as early as possible. Because we know that these vaccinations are protective in myeloma patients, but not probably in all patients as much as in a healthy control. Please stay safe and all the best to you all.